welcome to farm grow let's discuss about change control in pharmaceutical industry here in this slide we can know what are the seven key steps in change control workflow step 1 change control initiation step 2 change control preliminary review step 3 impact assessment and risk evaluation step 4 change control review and approval step 5 change implementation step 6 change implementation verification and effectiveness check step 7 change control closure what triggers the initiation of a change control process in pharmaceutical industry changes are triggered by regulatory updates process improvements equipment upgrades or corrective actions from audits the initiator must document the reason and scope of the proposed changes what details are expected to be filled by initiator to mention in change control form change control initiator requester fills out a change control form that is ccf by giving details such as description of change existing and proposed system reason for change like justification scope and potential impact attaches supporting documents that is risk assessment validation plans reference eu gmp annexure 15 ich q10 what is the significance of a change control number a unique number is assigned to track each change request throughout the process it ensures proper documentation and traceability of all changes what evaluation should be covered in the change control preliminary review stage purpose of change control shall be evaluated to determine if the request is valid and assigned priority key activities performed in these stages are change control coordinator reviews for completeness classifies change as minor major critical based on the impact assigns to relevant departments for comments or assignment that is qa ra engineering etc reference is ich q12 life cycle management how impact assessment and risk evaluation of change control shall be done impact assessment and risk evaluation is done to evaluate the effect of the change on product quality safety and compliance cross functional teams assist for following impact on gmp validation regulatory fillings supply chain need for additional testing validation or stability studies risk assessment tools for example fmea may be used reference ich q9 quality risk management how the change control implementation is performed or documented change implementation shall be executed as per the approved plan key activities performed in change control implementation include updating sops batch records or specifications conducting qualification or validation if needed for example equipment and for process training to affected personnel reference fda process validation guidance 2011 how the verification and effectiveness check of change control is done verification and effectiveness of change control confirm the change achieved its intended outcome monitoring of post implementation performance that is batch records and deviations is done to verify no intended impacts occurred reference who trs 986 gmp how change control closure is done verification of all implemented actions are done for example training documentation updates close the change control in the system closed change controls are retained for regulatory inspection reference is eu gmp annexure 11 electronic records let's know what role does the quality assurance qa department play in the change control workflow qa assures compliance with regulations and company standards during the change process they review documentation and approve changes before implementation when is regulatory submission required for a change regulatory submission is required for major changes affecting cqas for example process equipment site transfers reference fda supac u variations regulation let's know what is the role of risk assessment in change control 
risk assessment systematically evaluates the potential impact of proposed changes on product quality patient safety and regulatory compliance using tools like fmea stands for failure mode and effects analysis or fmeca stands for failure mode effects and criticality analysis what documentation is required for change control closer for change control closer proof of implementation that is updated sops training records validation reports are required reference who trs 996 annex 4 what are the best practices of change control implementation use electronic change control systems that is trackwise viva for efficiency conduct periodic reviews of change control procedures train employees on gmp and change management requirements what are regulatory requirements for change control regulatory bodies like the fda ema and ich for example ich q10 mandate change control to ensure ongoing compliance changes must be documented justified and in some cases notified to or approved by regulatory authorities example for major changes affecting product quality which guidelines are commonly referred for the change control workflow in the pharmaceutical industry here in this table we can see list of guidelines issuing authority and their key focus area icchq 10 international council for harmonization key focus area is pharmaceutical quality system including change management as a key element 21 cfr part 211 cgmp key focus is current good manufacturing practices for finished pharmaceuticals including change control requirements new gmp annex 15 that is qualification and validation ema european medicines agency change control in the text of qualification validation and gmp compliance who trs 986 annex 4 stands for world health organization good manufacturing practices for pharmaceutical products including change management thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and share subscribe to the channel for more informative videos on pharmaceutical industry